2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class debuts, EQ face, rear steer, and a selfie cam powertrains carry over but it's packed with new tech, including the MBUX super screen with an optional passenger display. The outgoing W213 E-Class introduced all kinds of tech when it debuted in 2016, and the new 6th Gen W214 follows suit in a major way. That's the takeaway for the 2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class, which combines an evolutionary exterior design and carryover engines with a revolutionary interior filled with screens and cameras, up to five depending on selected options. For North America, Mercedes offers two trim levels at launch, the E350 and E450. Size-wise, it's just under one inch longer with a half-inch longer wheelbase. This translates to a quarter-inch more headroom, a half-inch more legroom in the back, and elbow width is nearly equal to the S-Class. Both trims are available with the 4MATI CAWD powertrain, both use an upgraded version of the 9-speed automatic transmission, and depending on the trim, you'll find familiar 4-cylinder or inline-6 power under the hood. We'll discuss more on the mechanicals later, because the big news here is what's happening inside lights, camera, action you may already know much of what we're about to present. Mercedes took the odd step of debuting the new E-Class interior back in February, complete with photos and a modest list of features. To refresh your memory, the MBUX super screen is in full effect regardless of the E-Class trim level you choose. It's very similar to the standard layout found in the EQE, featuring a standalone driver display with the broad screen blending into the center display. Two display styles are offered. Sporty is predictably intended for driving enthusiasts with lots of red lighting and a central tachometer, while Classic is, um, classic. Life on the outside with so much tech on the inside, one might forget this is actually a car. The familiar cab rearward shape of the E-Class endures, though you'll find EQ influence at the front with the gloss black panel connecting standard LED headlights. A slightly larger grille sits in the middle, outlined either in chrome or optional LED running lights. Also optional are digital lights with a projection function, and at the rear, neat LED taillights contain three-pointed star elements. Flush door handles are standard, and wheel sizes range from 18 to 21 inches. For those who choose the optional MBUX Premium Plus package, a passenger screen is included. It's hooked up to sensors in the passenger seat and thus only activates if someone is sitting there. The screen is designed to allow passengers full view while blocking it from the driver, ensuring there's no added distraction while traveling. Speaking of distractions, we mentioned up to five cameras for the E-Class interior. Only one is standard, a mono camera that monitors the driver to ensure eyes are on the road. A stereo camera arrangement adds another driver monitor to the instrument display to help with advanced driver assist systems, while a gesture camera in the overhead control panel is part of the MBUX interior assistant feature. Two RGB cameras are also available one being a dash cam and the other being the aforementioned selfie cam. Yes, it's a real thing that Mercedes says can be used for Zoom meetings while on the road. Or rather, parked safely off the road. Mild hybrid power under the hood, you'll find, almost, the same engines used for the outgoing E-Class. The E350 still has a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder, though it gains a small electric motor to become a mild hybrid. Power is rated at 255 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, though an extra 20 horsepower is available with a boost function. The E450's Turbo i6 is still a mild hybrid system, though power is up to 375 horsepower. The 6-pot generates 369 pound-feet of torque, and like the 4-cylinder, a 20-horsepower boost is available. Mercedes-Benz doesn't have performance or efficiency ratings available yet, and for now, there is no plug-in hybrid trim in the States. There's also an optional 3D driver display that employs a stereoscopic effect. 
Basically, the left and right eyes see different pixels on the screen, giving a sense of depth just like those weird stereoscopic photos you have to cross your eyes to look at. And then there's the optional active ambient lighting feature that allows the soft interior LED lights to sync with music bumping on the Burmester sound system. So yeah, there's a lot happening here.